So um, this is a fall festival going on my face right now, not gonna lie. Um, and yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. I'm in short sleeves, a short sleeve shirt. I actually wore this to work. Um, it is 90 degrees in the great state of Texas, at least the part that I live in. Um, it's not fall here at all, and it's really irritating me, but what I've been doing is just wearing basically this eyeshadow look pretty regular, um, and I decided I wanted to film it for you guys because I really, really love the orangey tone, just the fall vibe. The whole actual lid is matte, and then the inner corner is super bright and like, bam in your face and that's my jam. I also in this video I'm going to give you two lip options so you're going to see this makeup look with more of a nude tone um, or a nude lipstick which is more my everyday style what I would wear to work um, but I also wanted to throw in like a cool vampy like I don't know fun makeup like lipstick because it is fall and it is winter and it's all about the Van B lip right now. And this is Boss Lady. It's like a chocolatey color. Um, the sun is going down so my lighting is crap again. Um, so you can't really totally tell but um, yeah. So if you want to find out how to get this look just keep watching and please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank y'all so much for watching and let's get started. Okay, so I've already primed my eyes and filled in my brows. So I'm gonna go in first with Cream Brulee from Makeup Geek. And it's this kind of shade, I don't know. It is absolutely my favorite transition shade, hands down. So next we're going to go in with this shade. It's Early Bird and it is a part of their fall launch that they did, um, I think in September. Um, so we're going to go in with that shade on the same brush in the same, pretty much the same area. Then I'm going to take a more defined kind of brush and I'm going to start packing on Sidekick, which is also from the new Makeup Geek launch. But this color, you guys, oh my gosh. So here's a swatch. I don't even think my camera is going to like pick it up. It is like a rusty, like it's a rust color. That's the only way I can think of to describe it. Um, and it is just, I'm obs freaking obsessed with it. It's so pretty. So first we're just going to place that color in the crease. Not going to worry about blending it out. Not going to worry about um, anything like that. I'm just going to place them in the crease. And also um, on the lid and the outer V. Morphe M33 brush. It's a fluffy kind of pointed brush and I'm going to start blending those together and kind of moving this up very like super lightly. Okay. And then that same brush I'm going to go back into the um, kind of pumpkin shade and we're going to go back over up top go into um, cabin fever which is also um, a part of that new like launch and I'm just going to get a little bit of it and apply it to the very outer corner on the lid See where I'm putting that? Just to deepen this up, now I'm going to sweep it forward onto the lid and keeping it down underneath the crease.
And then I'm going to take, again, the M330 and also kind of blend that together. Make sure there's no harsh lines, especially right out here in the outer, like, corner where all these colors come together right here. I don't want anything too, like, too defined or too harsh. The, what is this? M33. Um, it's kind of a more flat, like, tapered brush. And I'm going to go in with... Vanilla bean? Yeah, vanilla bean. And it's kind of a flat, creamy shade. And I'm going to take that and just pat it on the, only on the lid, just to kind of clean this up. And it really brightens. I mean, can you, obviously you can tell now, but it really brightens up that area and just makes it a little bit more clean. I just put my primer on my face and was talking to you about it and it wasn't even recording. So I went in with Dr. Brandt's Pores No More um, and I was saying that this half size, half fluid ounce size, which is the travel size, is actually a much better deal than the full size, which is only one fluid ounces. So you get half, half of the container, but I mean for $17 instead of $45. So I don't know, and a little bit goes a long way. It does smell like uh, Vicks Vapor Rub, though, is what I was saying a second ago, so, which I was kind of surprised on that. I was like, man, this smells like, smells like Vicks. <laughs> oh, forgot to wet my beauty blender, so I'll be back. Um, this is 120, which is a little too light for me right now for some reason, um, but I have been mixing 120 and 122, and that's typically what I do, but for this particular tutorial, I'm just going to go in with Maybe. I'm just going to go in with this shade. Because um, I'm literally just going to do my makeup and then get in the shower and wash it all off. Because that makes total sense, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> so just always be sure to bring down your foundation down on your neck. No matter what. I will hunt you down and find you. Okay, so I'm going to take this Real Techniques Contour Brush, which I have been completely obsessed with since the moment I got it. Um, like, I have used it so much. I've used it on myself. I've used it on clients. I'm just obsessed with it. Um, and then we're going to go into the Makeup Geek Contour Powder, which I use this every day day almost I mean when I contour which is almost every day but um this is the one the bad habit and it's in warm fair I also have the warm medium which is very dark so just FYI I mean obviously see the pigmentation just like their eyeshadows Super pigmented, super blendable, um, oh, just stunning. I mean, I love these so much. Um, you can obviously go too crazy with them, but um, they are easy to blend out. So I feel like they're really good for like a beginner or when you're in a hurry to contour. Because a lot of times when you cream contour, you just have to be very, very careful and really take your time. And I feel like with powder contours, it's a little bit more soft and a little bit more natural and just like a nicer finish. I don't know. So then we're going to go in with um, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in uh, medium. Whoa. They're going to warm up the face. Um, I honestly have really been liking kind of like a bronzy kind of look like face wise with this eyeshadow look. Um, you could skip contour and just do like a little bit of bronzer if you didn't want to like warm the face up, but I kind of like it with the Maybelline uh, Fit Me in Fair. I've really been liking a really bright under eye. Um, I mean, I always like a bright under eye, but for some reason recently I've really been into this super bright under eye. So 
that with, set that with the RCMA No Color Powder uh, with still with my damp beauty sponge. The fluffy um, blush brush from um, Real Techniques and kind of clean this up right here. Okay, so for blush, we're going to go in with, I am so obsessed with this blush. Like, y'all, I can't even. It is with the Timeless um, Beauty Palette from City Color Cosmetics. And it is this orange shade right here. Honestly, is the only blush I use in this whole palette thing. And this blush is stunning. Like, oh my gosh, I die. It is a true orange blush. And I'm I live for this color. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the eyes, of course, like we normally do. I'm gonna take a pencil brush. This is the Morphe E36. And um, we're gonna go in with the shadows. First, we're gonna start with a cream brulee and just kind of buff that out on the lower lash line. Oh, hold on. It's coming up a little purple because I freaking used this brush last night to do that purple tutorial. And I forgot. And I haven't cleaned my brushes. <sighs> okay, hold on. Time out. BH Cosmetics brush instead. I don't know what color this is. Early Bird. I'm going to memorize these. I keep wanting to call it pumpkin because it's pumpkin. And I really want, for this look, I really want the lower lash line to be like smoked out. Back in with Sidekick and just do this a little bit more. Smoked and... Okay, so then we're going to take the definer brush and go into um, hell. Cabin Fever, which is a, the darker color that we used on the outer corner. And that's what we're going to define a little bit more with. Okay, and then we're just going to take this Morphe M506 and take a little bit of Shimmer Shimmer mixed in with the Rapunzel, which the Rapunzel is a shimmery gold shade from Makeup Geek, and we're gonna apply that to the inner corner only, and then kind of drag it down towards, like, that smoked out part. Just FYI, they are so freaking, like, ugh. They're just so amazing. Okay, so now we just have like a matte eye basically and then the shimmery inner corner and a smoked out. Sorry. And then this bottle lash is just so smoked out. Oh, I really love the way this looks. So, um, I'm not going to do any eyeliner, like black liner. I just really like the way it's like really clean. Um, and like, I don't know. I just like the way this looks. So I am going to go in though on the waterline and apply this ColourPop, um, liner in Get Paid. It's a coppery shade. I'm going to apply that to the, uh, waterline of the, like, what is that? bottom lash line. I've only done this one other time with this color. Um, so you can't really tell. Like it's not, that's the kind of the cool thing about this color is it's not like whoa bam, but it does kind of keep adding in that coppery brown tone shades that kind of I think help set this makeup look off. Okay, so I'm going to apply some Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Okay, 
And I was going to apply falsies, but I don't think I'm going to now. I think I'm just going to go with this. Yeah. Okay, um, and then almost done. We're going to apply some highlight, and then I'm going to give you guys two different lip color looks with this particular makeup look. So that way you guys have some options. This LA Girl Strobing Light Strobing Powder. Uh, yeah, I don't know who comes up with these names. And this is in the 100. It is a golden butamous highlight. It is, can be a little chunky. Um, dang it. So if you're not, don't like that look, don't. I wouldn't pick these up, but they are really pretty. And they're $9, so they're a really good deal. Look, look how pretty that is. And they have so many shades. Like, so many. So... Okay, and then the first lip look we're going to go with is kind of more just a nude, neutral -y, rosy color. I don't know. This is uh, Jouer Cosmetics. It is the, I don't know, lip lip cream. But it's, it's a matte lip cream. And Tawny Rose. And this color is so pretty and perfect. I feel like a perfect fall nude, if there's really such a thing. I don't know. I like it. Uh, okay, um, so I kind of like this option, and I think, I mean, do y'all kind of feel what I'm saying when I was saying, like, this is kind of like a fall nude? Like, it's not light at all, but it's not so dark that it's overwhelming or anything like that, so that's first lipstick option. Of course, you can wear anything with this, I feel like, but there's the first one. Okay, last but not least, and the sun's almost going down, so this is perfect. Um, I am, this is the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick. Um, I have three of these, and I absolutely really do like this formula a lot. It's comfortable on the lips. It's not too hydrating. I don't like dry lips. I don't like the look of them. I just, I have lines in my lips. I don't have any fillers, obviously, in my lips, so they don't look like Instagram lips so liquid lipsticks don't work for everybody basically is what I'm saying so and this is in boss lady um first of all the name I loved it second of all it is a chocolatey shade it is super dark and super vampy y'all just wait okay wait a second oh hell looks so good Okay, um, I had to like swipe this with a makeup wipe, so it's kind of red right there, but um, that'll go down. That's just my skin. Um, but this is the other final lip look I was thinking about. Um, you guys, let me know what you think. Liquid lipsticks in a dark color are such a pain in the butt to put on. Um, they're so messy. Ugh, they're just, they're hard, but they're fun. I mean... Obviously, I would never really wear this lipstick out, like, on a normal day-to-day -day basis. I mean, this isn't something I'm going to throw in my purse and keep in my purse, but I do love this color. It is a true chocolatey brown. And it does emphasize that my lips are crooked, but whatever. I mean, it's fun. It's fun to wear. Um, again, this is embossed lady, so... Y'all let me know which lipstick look you guys liked the best um, down below, please. I would love to know and love to get your feedback. If you have any questions, also put them down there. I always respond. Um, I hope you like this fall look. It was super easy to achieve. Um, and again, all the eyeshadows are all Makeup Geek. Um, and this liquid lipstick is Gerard Cosmetics Boss Lady. Um, so yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel. Um, I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Um, and that's it. Bye guys.